Hello everyone, my name is Romat and today I'm going to play Tulia Top in ranked in Diamond 1 and I'm going to show you why I like it more than jungle mid or even bottom. To be honest, I think I like Tulia most on top and then on support right now because I believe that's where she's the most fun. Now, as a strong level, I believe she's not that good on mid lane on these patches and I believe... She can do fine in other roles, but please try what I do only with very much care because I am experimental and doing experiments with this and I'm going to show you how I play, but don't jump into a ranked game doing Tulia top because there are lots of factors that you have to consider, such as breaking the team comp, full AP comps, not, tank not tanks such as this game, and stuff like that. Now Rek'Sai and Shen aren't exactly Shen support, aren't exactly the most of tanks, but we're going to see. I'm against Timo on top with Ignite in Diamond 1 at around 40 LP. I'm reaching back master hopefully, and if I don't, I'm gonna start maining Bard by September, that's not a lie. <laughs> I'm gonna still make Tulia vids, probably. I'm playing with Electrocute, Chipshot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Presence of Mind, Cup de Grace, and this room stats magic resist because we're against Timo. I'm gonna have to be careful towards the level 3 Rek'Sai gank, because he starts red, he goes here, and then most likely we're going to have troubles. I'm going for GLP, maybe going for Sork Shoes, most likely. And uh, after that we're thinking Orb, they don't have heals. Uh, maybe something like Zonia, because Vagar and because Rek'Sai. Okay. And then we're going to see. Now we have a first blood. Okay. That's a thing. That's a first blood on bot. I think we have smart first on bot. So if they hard carry me, at least I am able, closely able to showcase you this. Now I can't promise you. Okay. Maybe we're not gonna win easily. I'm not sure. I'm gonna miss this minion. I think I have them actually. But I'm generally, when I'm playing top, I'm generally pushing. And then I'm going towards this zone to have a sight at Rex side to see where he is and okay he's not there okay that's an interesting thing we have the blue buff there i think he may be afk hopefully not or he started somewhere else i don't know uh let's wait for minute three and see if someone disconnects maybe okay we see rex i see rex he's level three i think he did a full clear or something I mean, he did not take blue buff, that's one thing. Okay, whenever you're playing top, you gotta go and help. It's fine, Zed will probably gonna... I think I'm still gonna get it. Yep. Okay. We have a thing here. Okay, okay, that's Elise. <laughs> and another flash down. Okay, bot lane is winning. I'm winning. Uh, I got the kill on Rek'Sai. Everything is going fine. You can see how I'm generally playing. I am trying to push the lane early on to go onto the enemy jungler. I don't let the enemy jungler come onto my face because that would be a problem. And most likely you're going to have a nice time before 6. After 6 things get complicated. But if you play with Ignite like me, you could probably you could probably get away with it if you're careful. But then again, if you die to ganks doing this, as I said in other videos, you're not going to have a nice time. Because once you die to a gank, you are pretty much forfeiting the anything that lane phase has. And... Okay. Maybe we could get a kill on Timo. Ah, minions, man. Okay. Okay, jump out. Run. Good. Vagar comes. And we could ward here just for the safety. Okay, that was a teleport from Vegar. I'm not sure what's he doing, what he's doing, but I could just auto attack him probably. Belize is here for no reason because we got the easy kill onto the Timo, and we're pushing. Thank you. Yep, that's a good push. I hope I hope to get them. Nah, I did not get them into the tower. <laughs> Still staying. There is a mosquito around me. Help! What is this? So we put them into the tower, 
and we're going to do just fine. I see bot lane is doing this. Oh, whoops. Um, let's let's just recall. I'm two zero. What is Jesus? Ah, why are you in my house? Okay, so we recall here. Timo tries to stop us, doesn't do it in time. Already our bot lane is 6 1, something like that. We're also winning on top. And this is a great start towards the ranked game. We're doing fine. Now, let's just discuss the logistics for Tlia top once I'm going to lane while I'm going to lane. Basically, until 6, you try to get the kill on the opponent if he's not something like Eurelia that can murder you. If he's something like Eurelia Camille or Darius or other champions that can easily kill you. Then you're going to try to push them away with your W and maybe play with face rush in some context because you will probably need it. If you don't play with face rush, odds are, odds are an Irelia will just destroy you easily and you're going to struggle. Now I've seen Rek'Sai there and yeah, I'm trying to be careful. If you are against uh, something like Darius, you're having low chances of winning because he's probably going for teleport and I am... I just... I'm not sure what's happening, I just did that. The Mosquito, I'm seeing it, is going to come in my face in like 2 seconds. But if you're interested, now mainly I'm playing Tulia top, if you're interested I can make more videos to discuss this topic in depth. But normally, this is a niche, a very niche thing, much like the Rek'Sai mid, the Skarner top, the Warwick top, that you see maybe on Dong Hop's videos, those things are very very niche and it takes a lot of practice to get them right. Also their Rek'Sai is missing and probably I'm gonna get oh, attacked soon. Uh, I'm gonna go here and try to escape with my ult if he comes, if I see him. Okay. So we can just stay here and keep the Timo away and ult out if it's needed. Alright. Oops. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna miss some CS maybe, but we're fine. Okay. I really wanna see the Reaper and what they are doing because they are stomping very hard the enemy. Okay. They are Grandmaster or something, so that's why probably. But I'm missing CS, which I dislike. And I have flash only in 30 seconds. So let's just push it and be careful with it. If Rek'Sai ganks, most likely we're going to kill him. If we are not getting surprised, for example, here. But I think they already went AFK. Yeah, I think the game is over. Maybe Timo tries to surprise me here, and I won't be able to auto-attack him, so that's why I'm backing off. But I think we just won the game. I'm gonna do one more auto-attack here. Yep, I think we just won the game. Alright, let's go take Herald and end it. So yeah, that was the game, guys. Now, I, I will make more videos for top, because I really enjoy it. But game was over already, because bot lane got destroyed. I did my stuff, and collectively... We died only twice, and that's on bot. So that's okay. That's pretty okay to me. So let's just end the game. But let's talk about the theory more of Tilia top and why I think it works. Mainly because I think it works mainly as Queen works. But perhaps, oops, perhaps with less uh, global mobility as her ult is constant. But still, you still have that power. Until 6, you're generally against tanks, you're gonna do fine. Against bruisers, you're still gonna do fine against Jax if you're careful with your W. The only thing that you have to be careful against melee champions is that so they don't flash, they don't flash your W. And if you're if they do flash your W and you are low HP, you're most likely gonna die because they're going to fly to flash aggressively towards you, and that's going to be the problem. So you have to position yourself, you have to go for the kill only when you're certain you're gonna hit the W. So that's the logistic that's different. On mid, you got you can you can get away with it, but I believe Tulia top is stronger because. Most assassins are on mid and not on top, and bruisers take a longer time to kill you. So that's pretty simple, right? And now we're gonna get these towers, we're gonna end the game. That was fairly simple. They guaranteed as well. And then gonna take these. Alright, and let's just end it. Now, against tanks you're gonna do fine, against anything that's not top laner, such as a Kyle, Queen, things like that that you don't generally see. Uh, you're gonna do fine. You're also going to... Uh, struggle against things like Darius maybe, things like Eloy, things like Mordekaiser, but that's the annoying part. But when you struggle against those, you can just try to kill them before 6 and then roll. 
If you can't really keep the lane after 6 and you feel like you're getting dived, that can happen. Obviously, you can roam and you can stay back. No one forces you to be high in CS. What you're kind of forced is just to not die, to try to get the kill on the opponent when you get the LP or before, because you can. And general mid stuff like going bots and trying to help other lanes or your jungle. When you go with your jungle, you can do much more damage as I did in this game. Okay, so that's the general Tilia top guide in... 8 minutes, <laughs> that game was very quick. I'm gonna make more full games and you're going to see how I generally play that. This was pretty easy, but I really want to move forward in this direction because I believe Tilia mid and Tilia jungle aren't that strong, especially on the first clear on Tilia jungle and on the first 10 minutes maybe on Tilia mid because most assassins are going to, are going to destroy you and besides assassins there are Syndra, Cassiopeia, Ahri which are also difficult, Leblancs. Talia is not that easy as this Twisted Fate because you don't have a point and click stun. It's it's on par probably with Orion Soul, which is quite difficult on its own, but I do not recommend to try it right now. I believe we might wait for the next preseason, next patches to see how that works. I'm at 60 LP light right now. I was pretty decent in this game and it was pretty short. I won't even edit it, cut it short and stuff like that. Now, I'm Drumat and see you next time, guys. Have a nice day or night wherever you are and goodbye.